Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today we're going to, well, expose a little secret that I've kept and that is my side hustles and things that I do to earn a little bit of extra money here and a little bit of extra money there. If by chance you're new here, my channel is about my personal budget journey. It is about saving, it is about spending, it is about stashing money for particular things, savings challenges, a little bit of investing, and now it's also about my side hustles. If any of that is of interest to you, please take a second, hit subscribe down below, I'd really appreciate it. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little bit more of your time with me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And everybody, take a second, smash that thumbs up button for me. All right, so I have essentially two types of side hustles right now that I do to earn a little bit of extra money. And I do mean a little bit of extra money. The first side hustle that we're gonna talk about today is our, I should say our apps. I have done apps where I've earned stuff off and on for basically 10 years now. Sometimes I'm really into them. Sometimes I just let them sit to the side. Sometimes I kind of half do them. It just depends on what's going on in life at that particular moment. The first app that I ever started was Shopkick and that truly was close to five, no, that's the second app, five years ago. And I started, I bought a probably 10 years ago, somewhere around in that time frame. Um, those two are my hands down favorite apps on different ways in which I can earn a little bit of money here and a little bit of money there. Uh, Shopkick, I have over time, I think I've pulled about 100 $25, $150 cash off of. Again, I go through phases where I'm really into it and then phases when I'm not. But Shopkick allows me to pull cash off. I walk through the store, I scan a whole bunch of different things, and I earn points. And those points then turn into essentially $25 cash paid in my PayPal account. So this year alone, I have pulled out $50 in cash, and I am using that money honestly to pay down my debt. That's the whole purpose of why I go in and I scan different things. And that is how I use Shopkick, is to scan and get cash. They send it to my PayPal, I then send it to my bank. So that is my first app that I absolutely love. Uh, the second app that I have used and pulled money off of this year is Upside. Upside is where you get gas, cash back for getting gas. Now I do have to go into the app, I have to figure out what's the gas station, then I have to determine is it in my way, out of my way, is that the one I wanna go to? Uh, that Those prices change even just a couple hours, those values change. So, so far this year, I have cashed out $47.71 and any time, and that went to my bank, and any th time that I get cash back from Upside, I originally was gonna use it towards my gas, but I've since rebudgeted and now we have plenty of gas money. So I'm now using that as debt money. So I've pulled another $47 and put that towards debt. I bought a which I have been using for the longest. I've probably gotten close to $400, maybe 500, I don't remember exactly, over time and that I bought it. Um, I recently cashed out $113.18 and with that, I then use that for grocery money. Um, it's I get cash back for basically groceries. So I figured that it would be good to go into the grocery budget. So a little bit at a time. Um, from now on, I'm gonna pull it out in $20 chunks. Um, I st left ended September and I had a dollar thirty already starting to build back up. And then the rest of these are all new to me. Um, I oh that's a lie. Fetch. I've used Fetch before. Um, we'll talk about that when we get there. But most of these I honestly got from um, Ange Budget and Debt. If you have not watched her, um, I'll put a link down below for you. Go watch her. She's great. She does a work your apps off video and where she goes through what she has saved on apps. She's doing it to save for Christmas. Um, I'm saving mine for something completely different, but that's where I got this idea from was seeing how much she has saved this year for Christmas is astonishing. So I thought, huh, I can do some of that. So the rest of these, with the exception of Fetch, um, I got from her, so Cashwalk, is where I get points for 
steps I take during the day. I put my phone in my pocket and make sure I catch most of my steps. There are some times when I just don't, but I catch them and I earn points. And then basically every 1500 points, I can earn gift cards. Um, last month alone, I earned two gift cards and I get that it's only $6, but guys, that's a trip to Duncan for me. And if you know, and if you've been around, you know, Duncan steals my cash. So this $6 is, it's changing. It's one trip to Duncan that I don't have to worry about where that money's coming from. So I've pulled $6 cash from cash walk. And at the end of September, I had 796 points. So I'm on my way to my next 1500. Branded survey, so I didn't get this from Ange. I don't know that I like branded survey. Um, surveys pop up, surveys drop off. As fast as I push the button, it says, sorry, that's no longer available. And then I push one and it's for minimal points. And then it takes me 45 minutes to do it. I'm just like, eh, eh. So I currently have $7.86. I can cash that out. I haven't, you can cash out every $5 essentially. I haven't, I'm not certain if I'm gonna continue doing branded survey. I don't think I've done any this month. I may need to look into that, but I just, uh, I don't know if I'm feeling that or not. Um, but that money will go towards debt as well when I pull it off. Fetch, I actually got from a girlfriend a couple of, probably a year ago, I got Fetch from a girlfriend. And it, I was in no big hurry to really do anything with it. And then with getting into all of my apps, I came to realize, hmm, um, I can only pull gift cards off of it. I can't get cash. So we decided that those were actually going to go towards Advanced Auto. We are getting ready to go on a trip for my daughter's wedding. So we're going to start saving money for like an oil change or any other parts that we need where we can, my husband takes care of most of the things on his truck. So i am started to pull 25. So this was brand new this month. I got a $25 gift card from Fetch and I have another 4,000 points. Now that 25 gift card was a lot of points. It took me quite some time to get it, um, but that's okay. It's still free $25. It may have taken quite some time, but we're still there. And then I have 4,342 points towards my next gift card. Receipt hog. Um, not certain about it yet. Um, I have 609 points. What do I have to have? Um, I don't remember how much I have to have in order to start to pull cash, but I can pull cash off Receipt Hog. Receipt Jar is another one where I can pull cash off. Both of those will be going towards debt pay down when I do get them. And then Receipt Pal is gift card only. Now, I have no idea what I'm saving for gift card wise on Receipt Pal uh, because until it reaches 5,000 points, I have, it, it just says that I can get gift cards at 5,000 points. So I don't know, I'm only at 1,430 points for that one. So don't know where we're going with Receipt Pal just yet, but it will be a gift card. Um, if it's not to anywhere that I want, I'm gonna be real, I may not continue to do Receipt Pal. Mayfield does gift cards only. Um, however, we've decided that out of all of the gift cards that they have, I think we're gonna do the Home Depot gift card so that we can start to get a little bit here and a little bit there to work on repairing the house. Now that does take a good amount of points, so we'll kind of see where we're at with that. But those are the different apps that I have really gotten into and some gotten back into. Um, I, For the year so far, I have pulled off $210.89 in cash and $31 in gift cards, yay! So it doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is to me. A um, hundred of that, 113 of that went into the grocery bill. Guys, I can't tell you what that did for the grocery bill. It put us ahead in the grocery bill, which was so stinking exciting. Now there are some, some catches to these. Like I bought us, sometimes I get wrapped up in, oh, I can get cash back if I get this. And it's not something that I would normally buy. So I have to be very careful with Ibotta um, because I do sometimes get that way. But I have paired Ibotta and Family Dollar and Dollar General together. Um, and I now, I don't know if you're aware, um, it's not a side hustle, but it's a way that I save money. Um, on Saturdays, Dollar General and Family Dollar give you a $5 off $25 coupon every stinking Saturday. And it's where we go get 
a lot of our paper products, guys. I can get those and earn my $5. And sometimes they have coupons and sometimes I bought it has coupons stacked on top of it. So I kind of stack all of them together and save a whole lot of money. So I really like I bought it. Sometimes it takes me a while because I don't get things on there. Mayfield, if I were to get some of the their products that they have on there, my Mayfield would grow a little faster. And the same thing with Fetch. So it just all depends on what are the things that you buy as to how fast some of these grow. If any of these are of interest to you, please, I've got codes down at the bottom. I can earn points, you can earn points, and I'd really appreciate it. So this is one of my two new side hustles. This isn't really new, it's just a re reigniting of getting those done. My other side hustle is I started an Etsy shop. Now I had an Etsy shop for a couple of years that was all about um, baby shower gifts. And I really enjoyed it, uh, but I really didn't promote it very well. I stink at promoting. And because I didn't promote it, it really didn't do much business. So I actually shut that down a couple months ago and started a um, budgeting uh, Etsy shop where I am, I have a couple of things and I do mean a couple of things. There is not a whole stinking lot on there right now. Um, but uh, those couple of things, I actually made a sale in August. And when I made that sale in August, um, and I've made one in September as well, I got my first check. I've told them to send it to me once a month. So I got my first check September the 4th. And I was like, oh, yay. And uh, with that, I then needed to come down and look and see what are the things that I want to do with that Etsy check. So I had an income of $10. Now they do take fees. Uh, some of those fees uh, sometimes are outrageous and sometimes you just suck it up and deal with it. Um, but I spent $1.42 in fees. If you are interested in looking at my Etsy shop, please will you click the link down below. When you do click the link and I provide the traffic to my Etsy shop, I actually pay less in fees because I generated the person who was there. So if you're interested in checking out my Etsy shop, if you don't mind clicking the link below. And that way, if you do see something you like and you wanna purchase something, it's less in fees that I have to pay. So I earned $8.58 on that, on my August sales. So I have my $8 and my 58 cents. And just like when I had my Etsy shop for my baby shower gifts, I then break that up into multiple categories on what is it that I am saving for. One of those is me. Of course, I need to pay myself because I think that's important. So that's me. Growth. I believe that my business needs to grow. And right now, all of my stuff is digital downloads only. And those digital downloads, you're like, but Rosa, you're not spending any money. Actually, I am because before I post anything, I use it. I print it. I want to see what it's like. Sometimes I laminate some of that stuff. So that is costing me money that some, most of that is already in my budget line, but it would be really nice if it didn't have to come out of my budget line and it could come out of my Etsy budget line instead. So I have money for growth. And then I also want to put a little bit of money aside for taxes. If I reach $600 in sales, Etsy automatically report, is supposed to automatically report that I have sales. So, and I've earned money. So I know that I need to put some money to the side for taxes. My fancy little sheet, let me rearrange here. Um, my fancy little sheet, I broke that down here. So I got paid $8.58. I take 30% of what I made the $10 revenue. I take 30%. Uh, if you are working a job, taxes are roughly 12 to 15%. But what you don't see is that your company also puts in 12 to 15%. So I figured to be on the safe side in case they do make enough money that it needs to be reported and I have to claim this on my taxes that I go ahead and I just pull that 30%. 15 and 15 is 30. So that's where I'm doing. So when I'm doing that 30% off of my total income. So that's $3 that needs to go over there. One, two, three. All right. Um, nope. I don't know that I like these little envelopes. This is another expense, so I could call these business expenses as well. Um, I finally broke down. Uh, I actually have made almost all of my envelope. I've made all of my envelopes with the exception of some that I've printed. Um, but I actually broke down and bought these and 
not certain if I like them, but these are a business expense that I can take out of my growth money. So I've already actually written on here, I wrote down the date, 9-4, Etsy plus three, and there, there is now $3 in here. Um, how do we wanna stick this in here? Um, I am cheap, if you don't already know that. Uh, my labels actually were just some cute pieces of paper, that pack of paper that I have, that I've put in here and then wrote on them with a permanent marker. All right, so that left me with $5.58. And I'm taking, right now, I'm taking half and putting it towards growth and half putting it towards me. So there's that, which gives me 279, two, four, six, eight. Needs to go in each one. Um, I will slowly over time change this from everything going into 50-50 to I get paid a little bit more as I need to stop buying less things. Also, if I decide to turn this into a where I ship and sell things, then I want to make sure that I've got that money in here too. So let's zip up my growth. Me, and I've already written on the labels um, just trying to get ahead so that you didn't have to sit and watch me do all of that. So I put 279 into each one and I dated it on the fourth. And I'm kind of excited. Uh, I've done zero promoting on my Etsy shop up until today and I've gotten two sales, one last month and one the month before. Um, I've actually already gotten my next Etsy check but I haven't pulled it out or done anything with it yet. So definitely gonna take care of that and just Thank you. I will do a video later on what I have in my Etsy shop, plus the things that are coming to my Etsy shop. But if you would like to go check it out now, please click, click the link below. And I have links to all of my different apps that I use. So if you are interested in any of them or wanna check any of them out, again, benefits you, benefits me. If you have any questions about any of this, please drop it in chat below. Or if you just wanna say hi, I'd love to say hi back. I hope you have a great day, guys. Bye.